Welcome to Gossip About Gossip, powered by Hedera Hashgraph. In each episode, we'll cut through the hype of blockchain promises and explore real-world examples of organizations creating the next generation of decentralized applications, which will bring trust back to the internet for us all. All right, Gautam, thank you for joining us today. I am here today with Gautam Mita, who is the Head of Strategy and Expansion at Stater Labs. Um, Gautam, welcome. And I would love for you to tell our audience a little bit about what Stater Labs does and your role there. Stater essentially is a multi-product, multi-chain staking platform. Uh, and it's just formed on the core belief that you know token holders uh, who stake uh, come in all sort of shapes and sizes. So you have your you know average retail customers to your institutional clients. And hence you need like a segmented approach and a multi-product approach to uh, you know, get all the needs of the customers uh, attended to. Uh, so Stater started off on the Terra ecosystem. Uh, so we we had our proof of market there. Uh, we started off with our first product at the end of November, and we've launched four uh, four products uh, till now on the Terra ecosystem, totaling to about uh, 750 million odd uh, in total value locked uh, across those four products. Uh, and very recently, we've, we've uh, come on to the Hedera network as well and launched our first product, uh, which is a liquid staking product uh, called HPARX. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much about Stater. Uh, uh, me, I sort of look after the expansion part of Stater uh, along with a couple of my colleagues. Uh, so I look after the expansion in Hedera and Solana. And essentially, my role is to bring the products that we have built onto other networks and to expand the network. And so Hedera is one of the early, you know, public DLTs that you are offering staking for. What made you decide to offer HBAR staking? Sure, uh, Hedera is actually the second straight after Terra. Uh, we, we've got Polygon going live today, so we're expanding quickly, but Hedera was the second one. So uh, Hedera's, the Hedera network has always been kind of uh, interest, very interesting to us. Uh, it's pretty unique, uh, both in terms of, uh, you know, the hash graph approach, to DLT, also in terms of the gossip uh, about gossip algorithm. So we were always intrigued by the network. Uh, in terms of the approach uh, or to sort of market uh, adoption, the network has also been very unique, right? So most most networks have gone for finance related op- uh, applications, whereas you know Hedera with its sort of council members had always went for real world applications first, and then now when the opportunity came uh, working with the hbar foundation to actually uh, start building uh, the defi network on hedera it was it was an opportunity that we uh, we thought we couldn't miss and we we jumped on it uh, we were pretty happy that we did made that step great great and tell us how it's going what has been the response from the market sure so the response has been great uh, you know uh, i mean again big shout out to the community who have been interacting with us on twitter on telegram on discord who helped us test uh, everything out so we launched we launched on friday uh, it was a capped launch uh, you know and on tuesday we lifted the caps and in about 4 or 5 days we have 160 million hbar already staked on the platform uh, we made a couple of bold steps in terms of design that were sort of appreciated uh, by the community. Uh, one being that we went with a liquid staking token instead of a plain staking token. Now, uh, that means that uh, when you stake, you get a token back, uh, which you can use as collateral on upcoming lending platforms or which you can use to provide liquidity on upcoming uh, uh, DEXs on Hedera. And the reason why we went with that was all obviously because like, uh, looking at the bigger picture, the idea is to kickstart the DeFi ecosystem on Hedera, and it was important to maintain that liquidity in the in the hands of users, so that you know uh, upcoming protocols can also utilize that and build on top of it. So, can you walk us through the process of how you stake HBAR? Yeah, so the process is pretty simple, uh, right? So you can log into Hedera.StateLabs.com, uh, and you'll see a, a sort of a DApp opening up. Uh, you can click on the top right and connect your wallet. Uh, currently, we support only the Hashback wallet, uh, but Blade support is coming soon, and we're talking to a, a few other wallet providers uh, to have them also supported on the DAP. Right? Uh, once you connect your wallet, you'll be able to see your HBAR. Uh, you'll also be able to uh, see uh, the exchange rate and the TVL uh, that is there currently. Uh, you just need to enter your HBAR uh, and click on stake. Uh, the the transaction will have to be signed on your wallet. So you'll have to go to your wallet and confirm the transaction. And once it goes through, you can see your HBAR X instantly in your wallet. 
So it's, it's that simple. And, you know, there's a lot of discussion about the security of yeah. various platforms in the space. Um, can you share, you know, what security controls does Stator Labs have in place? Stator Labs is a platform that's kind of multi-chain, right? So uh, all of the security features that we built into our platform on Terra are kind of uh, ported over to every other platform that we do. So our Stator app, uh, the front end is pretty much battle tested, like I mentioned, you know, about 750 million uh, in value sort of locked through the platform. Uh, and we've, we've also got undergone audits for all the smart contracts beforehand, uh, about six across the three products uh, that we had launched before we started developing on Hedera. Now, specifically to our product on Hedera, we've undergone a comprehensive smart contract audit by Halbert. Uh, the report is available publicly. Anybody can log into our FAQs and see it. Uh, we've also posted it on our Twitter. Uh, so it's pretty open uh, and straightforward and, you know, people can see it. Uh, we also see uh, security as an ongoing issue, right? So uh, we, uh, we're we fully committed to using the best libraries. Uh, for example, uh, uh, HBARX is an HTS token. So it has all those security features already built in, right? And we'll continue to kind of do that to kind of upgrade our systems as, uh, you know, more and more features and security features get logged into the network itself. Uh, and our plan is to have a separate audit firm look at our V2 product so that, you know, we have more eyes on the code uh, and we can, you know, do the best possible uh, in order to provide uh, the most secure network. All right. Thank you for walking us through that. And, you know, for the community, is there additional functionality you will be rolling out going forward? What should they be looking forward to? Yeah. So uh, I mentioned at the start that we, we made a couple of bold choices. One of those was just offering staking first. Uh, and sort of uh, sort of delaying uh, unstake options and withdrawal options to the V2 version. Uh, that was just done so that people who are long-term holders can get rewards as quickly as possible. Uh, so the community is already kind of looking forward uh, to V2 coming out uh, sometime around July. Uh, so that 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 will happen. Uh, the other aspect of what we are trying to do right now is also you know making sure that HBARX is usable across the uh, across newer protocols that are coming up right that's the whole idea of liquid staking that you you know you you don't lock yourself in you get the yield but you also participate in uh, the ecosystem growing up so we're talking to upcoming dexes like sauce swap we're talking to the likes of hashboard and really the, the focus is uh, on first of course getting v2 to market but also making sure that uh, we give as much utility to the HBRX holders as possible to participate and grow the DeFi ecosystem on the network. Gautam, thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. We appreciate you sharing more with the community about um, what Stator Labs is doing, how the progress has been with HBAR staking and what you have for the future. So we hope that you will join us again and keep us updated on um, everything that you're doing. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having us. Uh, and thanks so much to the community for tuning in and also supporting us in, uh, you know, our efforts to build uh, DeFi on Hedera. Great. Thank you. Thank you.